Hey everybody, Michael Snyder here, West Coast Weather Watch. Today is October 14th, and right now we are looking at the visible slash infrared satellite imagery, checking out eclipse weather this morning. You can see this cloud shield approaching the West Coast here for the Pacific Northwest, not looking too hot today. I wouldn't give up hope 100% just yet, because sometimes you can see through these high clouds, but I did have some showers still going on this morning, so there's still some low and mid-level clouds out and about here as well. Northern California, you can see some clouds streaming over the area. There's some low clouds out there as well. Better chances across Southern California, some of Nevada. We'll look at that in here a little bit more detail. Come up here in a minute. Check out the low cloud uh, layer there. You're going to block a lot of this partial eclipse for places like Omaha, Kansas City, creeping down towards Tulsa there as well. As St. Louis, you can kind of see Chicago out there also. So it might be some tough viewing for a lot of the country here, but you can definitely see some clear skies across some of Oklahoma City, Amarillo, Albuquerque out there, just some passing high clouds as we go through this morning. This is for Texas as well. Some places are creeping these clouds in for like San Antonio, for example, and right, could in, uh, interrupt some of this eclipse viewing here across portions of southern Texas as well. And this is the path here, and this does start just about an hour here for like Seattle, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, and a lot of the west coast here, and then eventually moves off to the east. And of course, don't miss that one here, 2024, April 8th. This one's going to be four full minutes of totality there, and you won't need any kind of eye protection here for that four minute period. And I'm not going to miss that one, or I'm going to do my best to try to be out there. This is an annular eclipse. The, the sun does not block the, the the moon does not block the entire sun. You're going to see a ring around it, so you will need eye protection at all time. And there's good uh, there's good resources on there online if you want to check out what you need to protect your eyes. You can even build those little boxes here and uh, do a little solar eclipse uh, maker there, uh, a solar eclipse viewer there with a cardboard box. Check it out online. And this is looking at the HER, the 3KM, the high resolution rapid refresh, and you can clearly see this is about 9 a.m. here, and you can see that cloud shield moving up over the area. But some of this might be high clouds, and some of it could still break out. So don't lose hope well, completely there. You know, get out there and keep battling because you got two and a half hours of at least a partial eclipse here across the entire area. So if you can get a little break there, maybe you can catch a piece of that moon over the sun here. Now, taking a look here at the cloud cover layers, and you can see there is some break in some of the mid and low level clouds. There's still some high level clouds out there as well. And But the NAM3 cam paints a little bit rosier picture here, but it didn't look as good on the satellite imagery here. But, you know, if you got nothing else going on here, don't lose hope and keep trying. And this is the European total cloud cover percentage. Kind of probably uh, uh, accurately depicts things a little bit better here across the region. But again, you might get lucky here across some of Northern California. Western Washington, Western Oregon. Of course, better viewing down there across Las Vegas and some of the Southern California areas as well. As long as you're off of that immediate marine layer, great viewing across a lot of Arizona here as well. And this is the composite reflectivity. So this is about 9 a.m. here, and there's still some showers here across Western Washington, Southwest BC here, and maybe even across some of Oregon, the Willamette Valley. So yeah, it might be tough sledding out there, but you know, don't give up hope. It's a pretty rare occurrence here. And then uh, the next eclipse doesn't happen until April 8th as of next year. And that's totality across some of the central portions. So it will be a partial eclipse across a lot of the West Coast here as well. Uh, this is looking at Las Vegas. And you can see the total duration of the eclipse, 2 hours, 46 minutes, max totality, 82%. So you're going to notice that when the sun comes, or the moon comes across the sun there and blocks out a lot of that sunshine. And there should be some really nice viewing there across portions of southern Nevada. Here's the path of that eclipse here. And again... Use your eye protection out there. Don't look at the sun. When you can see it, it's a nice graphic here with just how much of the sun the moon will block out 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and just about 90% where you're in the path of that annual or solar eclipse here. And uh, this is uh, for Sacramento out there. There is that chance for the sky being obscured though. And you can see Redding 80%, Sacramento 70, Stockton 57%, Blue Canyon 57 there. So hopefully we get a little bit of a luck break here across some of the west coast as you can see and better viewing the further south across california you go you can see you know you're looking at merced out there about 35 percent cloud cover so much better the further south you go there sacramento kind of right on the borderline there san francisco 87 percent chance of cloudy skies there so yeah, I wish I had better news on this front here for you. But if you're off in Arizona, it's looking pretty darn good. You can see Flagstaff here, Phoenix, you know, generally going to be cloud-free here. So pretty good viewing out there. 
This is for Albuquerque. There will be some high clouds moving across the area here, but you know, uh, you're know you probably going to get a nice shot of it across much of the area. And uh, this is out for Texas. And they're talking about the, the worst case scenario kind of unfolding. You saw those low and mid-level clouds moving across some of the area down there across Texas. So it could ruin some eclipse viewing for some people. And this is just kind of showing that the eclipse for Seattle starts at about 808. Los Angeles, you know, right around 807, 808. And Las Vegas, it ends at about 1053. So, but if we scroll back, you can see it does spend, you know, over two hours and 40 minutes uh, at least a partial eclipse. And then you can see at about 926 Pacific daylight time for Las Vegas. That's when you'll really notice that it'll block out a good portion of the sun, over 80%, I believe. And Albuquerque will be in that full annular eclipse there. But again, you need the eye protection there. You're still going to see that ring of fire. It can still damage your eyes. And the eclipse winds up there at about just after noon there, uh, mountain daylight time. Uh, San Antonio, something similar here. You will be in that area. Hopefully those clouds do not ruin your eclipse viewing there. <laughs> For San Antonio, Texas. But yeah, anyway, I wish I had a little bit better news here, but some people might still get lucky. You now this can go. Sometimes you get breaks and sometimes you can actually see the sun through some of the higher and mid-level clouds out there. But yeah, you know, remember where your eye protection and whatnot and anything and everything. But yeah, anyway, um, I'll put this in um, on the bottom left of my daily briefings here as well. I'm going to post this on the California Weather Watch page here this morning also. And I get that channel a little bit more traction and get things up and running. So anyway, I will talk to you guys here in a little bit. I'll do my daily briefings. I'm going to start those up right now. And I will talk to you guys later.